A Marine is supposed to have a smile. They're supposed to be proud of themselves. They'll be able to smile and look at themselves in the mirror. I can't look in the mirror <laughs> some days. I went to Okinawa for four years with the Marines, and then I came back here. And I'm dealing with my mom and my friend. He's got Parkinson's, so he needs my help. So I'll do it. Cooking, cleaning, laundry, taking him wherever he needs to go. My ma is a sweetheart. She's getting ready for back surgery, so I got to make sure she gets to appointments. I do whatever it takes. It's important because I was in the Marines. And that's one thing they taught you is you help where you can. Alan came in as a, as a new patient. He kind of just touched something inside of me. This was someone that we knew had worked really hard all his life and served our country for many years. I just never smile. I don't know. You don't see me open my lips very far, do you? You know, because I'm embarrassed by it. No funds, no, no insurance. Veterans face those kind of obstacles every day. Day of service is a time for us to get back to our veterans when they've given up so much and sacrificed so much for us. For patients that have served in the military, we give them their care for free. Well, I got infection running all through my body and I know that. This shit's gonna kill me if I don't do it. A veteran shouldn't live that way. Vets deserve this. They serve the country. They earned it. He hasn't been able to smile before and it's just, going to change his life. I think Al's deserved this for a long time. I just think this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to him. Giving a people a good day when they went through years of hard and rough patches and is what we strive for. I want to be healthy and I want to live for a long time. There's no way I could afford it. But this thing with aspirin is like a godsend.